Greetings. Let's take a look at the new Unmix Levels process in Spectral Layers Pro 9. Unmix Levels divides a layer into two layers based on a user-selected amplitude split point. All content below a specified decibel threshold gets transferred to a new layer. High and low level content can be previewed independently before executing the process. Here I've loaded a sound effects WAV file called Bubbling Explosion. Let's listen to it. You can both see and hear the extreme dynamic range in play, and this difference is exactly what we are going to exploit in the Unmix Levels process. Okay, now I'm going to the Layer menu and selecting the process. Here we go, and the dialog box appears. The whole idea here is to split the sound into two layers based on amplitude. Here in this pull-down menu, we can select either one for real-time preview as we dial in the split point. Regarding setting the split point, you have three different scales to choose from. Absolute simply performs a clean cut across the entire file. The other two, Average and Peak, function based on tweakable formulas for calculating either local averages or local max peaks in the spectrum. The subtleties of these controls are easy to explore now with real-time dynamic preview. I'm just going to go back to the Absolute Power default setting and perform the process at minus 32 dB. And here we are with our new high and low level layers. I'll solo the high layer. And now the low layer. I'll play both together just for reference. It sounds exactly the same as the original source. Okay, let's start over and take a closer look at what's happening here. Back at square one, I'm going to hit the space bar to preview the high layer. Notice the new real-time preview functionality. This is dynamic spectral processing in action. You can see the playhead chasing the process as it happens in real time. Let's try auditioning parameter changes on the fly. Here you can see I'm making a time range selection on the spectral graph with the process dialog box open. In Spectral Layers 9, you can work anywhere in the interface with any process dialog box open. And this is a great supporting feature for dynamic spectral processing. Now let's look at what the threshold value control does. Here, I can hit the spacebar to audition the high level. With the threshold set at 0 dB, the high level layer is empty. Now I'm going to bring the threshold down to minus 12. And you can see dynamic spectral processing is really coming in handy here. Okay, let's try minus 24. And minus 36. Minus 48. And we'll stop at minus 60. I'm going to settle for minus 36 dB. If I want to, I can save my setting as a preset. And this is a new feature that applies to all tools and processes in Spectral Layers Pro 9. The last step then is to deselect my selection and apply the process across the entire timeline. And here's the result. High level. Low level. And that's the process. 
unmixed levels joins unmixed stems and unmixed components as yet another automatic process for splitting sounds into multiple layers. And now, in Spectre Layers Pro 9, these tools are enhanced by significant workflow improvements. Real-time preview, non-modal process dialogues, presets, and even a new look. And everything comes together as a whole to significantly boost your productive capacity across the board. Thanks for watching this video. Spectra Layers Pro 9 delivers new levels of speed, precision, power, and control. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Steinberg channel.